the impossible I'm irresponsible Yeah, I'm phenomenal I got an arsenal I'm dropping bombs, you know No, I'm not stopping, no Conquer the obstacle To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen To be the king of rock What's up guys, check it out. So, just like that, we're back at the crib. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that edit. As I said, I'm gonna try to do a lot of new content, a lot of new stuff for you guys. I'm gonna try to give you guys the best footage I can. Because a great man once told me that if I'm getting bored while watching my video, that means other people are getting bored. And that's not what I wanna do. So, huh, let's see here, it's 12.30, we're back at the crib. I ran into another problem. And I hate saying that because I sound like I'm just going through excuses and saying things. I apologize for that, but this battery, I have not charged fully charged yet. I use, I've been like sticking with charge for 30 minutes, 15 minutes here and there, just using it. I'm gonna let charge the rest of the day today. When I'm done with it, I'm going to actually buy another one so I quit running into this problem of having the battery done. So, because I already ate my breakfast, I want to show you guys that, but I wasn't able to again. So here we are. Anyways, the, we, that's where we're sitting at. It was a good chest day. I personally am still suffering from a shoulder injury. It is terrible because if anybody out there has an injury, you guys understand what I'm talking about. I don't even know how to describe what my shoulder's doing. It's almost like, it's almost like there's just this tension, just this tightness in my shoulder. And I've had it checked to see if maybe it was the labrum again because I previously tore my right labrum five, six years ago and had surgery on my shoulder. But come find out, it's not my labrum. So I'm not sure what it is. So uh, a lot of people recommended deep tissue massage, a lot of people recommended me to do some therapy to it, rest. I for one can't take rest. I If I don't go to the gym, I just feel like, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> I cannot not go, does that make sense? But uh, let me go here and grab my water. I wanna talk a little bit more about this with you guys in depth. Alright guys, back with you here. Got my water, so I'm good to go. As I was saying guys, my shoulder lately, it's been this pain I can't describe. I even try to describe it to like, uh, you know, nurses and stuff, and it just, there's no way for me to actually describe it. It's almost like, it's almost like a muscle. It's in, I don't know how to describe it, like a piece of gum. It feels like it's being stretched to its full extension to the point where sometimes I feel like it's gonna snap. So I personally, as I said, thought it was maybe my labrum again, because I've had surgery on the shoulder once before. So I thought, man, maybe I pushed the limits too hard and I tore it again. Well, come find out, I don't think it's a labrum. Previously when I tore my labrum, I was unable to do any kind of range of motion. I have full range of motion. What the pain is, it's almost like any pressing movement. So overhead press, flat barbell, any barbell presses is just out of the question. Um, as you guys seen in the edit there, I could do dumbbells still, but the initial movement from the weights to here to here it's the pain is there, but then it goes away. So I'm in a mystery and I think I'm finally at the point where I may have to break down and go to an actual doctor and maybe get an MRI just to see what the damage is. And uh, part of me is scared. Part of me is actually scared to know what the truth is because what if it's torn? What if it's torn to the point where they want to do surgery? And I've been through that surgery once before and I would be the first to tell any and all of you that I, that surgery was painful. 
not just physically, but mentally, because I had to go six months without working out. So imagine doing what you're doing every day of your life and someone telling you, hey, you gotta stop that for six months. You have to rehabilitate your, you know, rehabilitate your shoulder back to normal. And, and, and then again, what does rehabilitate mean? That's the biggest definition. Everyone tell me, well, maybe you need to rehabilitate it. Well, the definition of rehabilitate, if you look it up, is bringing something back to its natural form, original form. So my shoulder's never gonna be in its original form to what it actually was when I first started lifting because I was 150 pounds, you know, 18 years old, 16 years old working out. So for me to get my let my shoulder get back to normal would mean for me to go back to 160 pounds. So when people tell me that, it's, it doesn't aggravate me, sorry, it doesn't anger me, it just aggravates me because it's, you're telling me to do, to quit doing something that I enjoy and love and have passion to do and I for, I don't know, I just, I'm not gonna do it. So what I've learned to do, which is probably not the right method, I'm not advocating this for anybody, is uh, I've learned to just work around the pain. If it hurts, I stop, I readjust, I reevaluate my workout, and I try something else or I try a different movement. So I still get my workouts in. The only thing I struggle on would be chest day, honestly. Shoulder day, I'm still able to do lat flies, front raises, uh, military dumbbell press. You know, the only, the only area I'm really feeling the effects is on Mondays. And if you guys are watching my previous videos, chest day was my favorite day. I used to love chest day. You used to love it, man. So just imagine what you're doing every day in your life, whether it be you're working, you're running, um, you know, you go to the gym or you go see a certain friend, hang out with your kids. So just imagine a doctor or somebody telling you, stop doing that because it's bad for you. It just doesn't go over well in your mind and it kind of messes with your mindset a little bit. And that's not, again, I'm not upset with people telling me that, but I'm just a little aggravated because it seems to be a lot of people's answer lately. Well, take time off. Well, let it rehabilitate, let it get better. Just rest, rest, rest. Okay, well, it's easier said than done. It's one of those things. Um, but that's that's just where I'm at with my shoulder injury. I was The main reason I want to touch that topic was I feel like a lot of people probably didn't see me do barbell uh, bench press today, and that's the reason why. And, you know, I couldn't go near the, I still went pretty heavy today, the 120s there you saw. So, I mean, the strength's still there. The, the, the motivation still do the workouts is there. It's just I don't have the ability to right now. So, I just want to touch base on that with you guys real quick in this video. Um, secondly, the other subject I want to touch on with you guys is uh, I want to give a huge thank you to all you guys for your feedback on my last video. It's been a long road, and I've had a big, big break in between starting this channel and getting to where I am now. Uh, six months ago... I pretty much just stopped making videos, I stopped even talking to people, I stopped posting on social media. I stopped a lot of things and I regret it now because I think about the progression that I could be, I think about where I could be at now if I still continued that path I was on and that motivated path I was on. Because I let up, you know, it's, and it's easy, you get a little bit reward and you let up and that's, that's, that's where we tend to take our foot off the gas when, you know, we're going full force and I have to remember that, that I need to stop doing that. So, you know, I'm on this new path. I got this newfound motivation. I really want to just, I'm striving to be the best I can right now. And I know I say that a lot, so I don't mean to, you know, repeat that, but it's just, that's the truth. I want to be the best I can be right now. And if that means me doing two solid, great videos a week, that's what I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, Cause unfortunately I still have a nine to five job. And you know, I look forward to the day. I know that to get out of the job that I don't like right now, I have to sacrifice, you know, my free time, which I'm okay with that. And I know that, you know, I have to buckle down and make the best content I can to grow. And each each step I take, I feel like I'm evolving. You know, I have this sense of well-being each time I do this stuff, I'm evolving and I love it. So I just want to touch with you guys on everything on all this. And I want to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys' feedback. And I truly, greatly, uh, you know, I, I'm touched because I don't think I had one negative comment about my last video. So to me, that's in itself another stepping stone. And we know we just hit 2,000 subscribers and it's a lot of people that's like, whoop de do. But to me, that's a big accomplishment because it takes a lot of people a long time to get 2,000 subscribers. And I've been at this for a year now. And again, if I would have stuck with it the past six months, like I should have, uh, I really feel like I would be way further than I am now. So I, I just let my foot up the gas, but we're, uh, we're back on full force. I think it took some talk from Remington to talk some sense into me. And you know, having a great guy like that as a good friend and the great circle of friends I have, all my friends are just great people and to have them all behind me, backing me up is just, it's an amazing feeling. So I feel blessed in that general area. So I don't want to sit here and bore you guys too long. I feel like I've already done that enough. Uh, again, let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Comment below. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see. I will do my best to do anything you guys ask. 
uh, meal preps, all of those, you know, those are definitely to come. I want to show you guys what to eat. I want to show you the best way, quickest ways to make these meals available for yourself so you don't have an excuse to say, I didn't have time to cook my food because that's not an excuse when you have plenty of time. Um, I'm doing this video now and I had 10 minutes before I had to get ready for work. So you can make it all count, you know. I could have sat here and moped around for 20 minutes or I could have made this happen. So remember guys, every minute you use is valuable. So again, comment below, let me know what you're taking the, the last edit I just did on this video and please give me your honest feedback. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future and I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed day and you know, live it to the fullest guys. We never know if we're promised tomorrow. So that said guys, I will see you guys on the next episode here. See you guys.